Thank you all very much. Uh, as I think you know, uh, it has been reported that we have won Wyoming uh, by a pretty good vote, and I want to take this uh, opportunity to thank the people uh, of Wyoming uh, for their support. It is a beautiful, beautiful state, uh, and we just appreciate uh, having won that Democratic uh, caucus there today. It's fair to say that uh, when we began this campaign, uh, we were considered to be a fringe candidate. We were 60, 70 points behind Secretary Clinton. In the last week or two, the three last national polls that I have seen, in two of them, we are actually winning now by a small margin, but actually ahead of Secretary Clinton. And I think in the third poll, she was one point ahead of uh, me. Uh, in terms of the matchups with Republicans like Donald Trump, in virtually every one of these matchups, whether it is national, whether it is state, our margin against Trump is almost always much better than is Secretary Clinton. Um, in terms of state victories and um, other uh, territories, etc., uh, we now have won 17, uh, and she has won 20. And I think that it is very fair to say that we were way, way behind at during the first half of this contest, but we are having, to say the least, a very strong second half. And we are closing very fast. And now that Wyoming is behind us, we are here in New York State. And I've been pleased to sense a great deal of momentum. We have had a number of rallies uh, in Brooklyn, in Queens, where we are now, uh, in Manhattan, in the Bronx, we'll be going to Staten Island, we'll be heading upstate. No question in my mind that we have the momentum. Some of the polls out there are reflecting that momentum. A few weeks ago, we were 20, 30 points behind. Last uh, significant poll that I saw had us 10 points behind. Uh, three weeks ago, we were 326 pledged delegates behind Secretary Clinton. We are now 214 delegates behind. We have cut her lead by one third, and we expect and intend to do very well here in New York State and pick up a lot of delegates here and in some of the other states. And then we're gonna head out west where I think we have an excellent chance uh, to do very well uh, out there. Um, so let me just say that I think uh, it is beyond debate uh, that the momentum in this campaign is with us, that we are seeing in state after state large voter turnouts, uh, that we are seeing especially high turnouts among younger people. There was a mythology, I think, that was widely believed uh, before we got involved in this race that young people were apathetic, uh, were not concerned about politics, were not going to come out to vote. It looks like that has significantly uh, changed. And I am delighted to see so many young people who are the future of their country wanting to play an active role in shaping the future that they will have to live with. So, uh, you know, during the first half of this campaign, we had to deal with the Deep South, uh, the most conservative part of our country. We did very poorly there, no question. But now that we're in the second half of this campaign, we are going to state after state, which I think uh, has a more progressive outlook. Uh, we have won eight out of nine last contest. We're looking forward to New York and to other states as well. We are in this race to win. We have a path to victory, and our intention is to win the Democratic nomination and then win the general election. Thank you. Yeah. Senator, do you think that Secretary Clinton got it wrong when she stood with Governor Cuomo, uh, praising him for $50 I do, and I'll tell you why. Uh, as I think all of you know, uh, Secretary Clinton has been very clear that she supports an increase in the minimum wage to $12 an hour. I have, from day one, supported a $15 an hour minimum wage. And what has happened all over this country, and something that is really extraordinary and makes me very optimistic for the future of our country, is that people who worked in the fast food industry, they went out on strike, they stood up and they fought back and they said, seven and a quarter is not a living wage, we can't make it on seven and a quarter an hour. And then you had cities like Seattle and San Francisco and Los Angeles and then Oregon, then California, then New York, raise the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. I have been talking about $15 an hour for a long time. I was out on the picket line with workers in Washington, D.C. 
who are fighting for $15 an hour. Secretary Clinton has said all we need is 12 bucks an hour. Well, history has outpaced Secretary Clinton. $12 an hour is not the issue now. It is $15 an hour nationally, and if elected president, that's what I intend to do. So it seems to me to be a little bit strange for somebody who advocates $12 an hour to be standing there uh, at the signing of a uh, piece of legislation providing 15 bucks an hour. Okay. Anybody else? All right, thank you all very much.